You can see some roads remain closed here in Mason County as crews had to prioritize their work, get the power back on and get the main routes back open. People who live here say the storm came in heavy and they're wondering if there's still more to come. This is actually a pathway here, but we're going to jump off of it. Carol Tompkins here. is checking around her property for damage. Very wet, and that's when you get your down limbs, your down trees. She and neighbors in the town of Union expected a serious storm. I haven't slept all night. But they got even more than they anticipated. Mostly the ice. When the ice came, I knew we were going to have problems. That ice and heavy snow wreaked havoc on Mason County. <laughs> so... Mother, Mother Nature is really uh, doesn't like people in some spots. <laughs> we found Ray DeLander in between tow runs, pulling out stuck cars from the snow. There was one in the ditch on this side, one in the ditch on this side. That heavy, wet snow brought down a lot of power lines, so these utility crews have to go through the painstaking work of getting everything reconnected. As the utility crews did their work, so did people along Hood Canal who say they're used to being in the bullseye of winter storms. You can have nothing on that side and nothing on that side, and we have, uh, you know, we've had two feet of snow. Carol says she's hoping to get things cleared out a little before another storm hits. It depends. If it freezes again tonight and we have more snow, this could stick around for a while. The public utility districts here in Mason County say they are getting help from public utility crews elsewhere around the region. They say they've made good progress in knocking down those outages today, and they'll be posting the latest information up on their websites, which we have links to on comonews.com. Reporting in Mason County, Jeremy Harris, Como News.